Ladies, this is Amber Mellon and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. And if you are not new here, then hey girl, how are you doing today? Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. So I am super excited um, to be back on camera and interacting with you ladies. And yeah, I just want to say thank you to all the ladies who have recently subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your wonderful um, messages of love and encouragement. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I really appreciate that. I really, really do. I love all of you and I just hope nothing but the best for all of you, all your successes, whatever kind of business you're doing, whether that be a salon suite or whether that be something else, just much success to you. So uh, I'm excited to bring this topic on my YouTube channel. I know you ladies love the salon suite talks. I know you love it. So yes, today's video are my fourth quarter salon suite tips to help you have a great end of the year to maximize the end of the year or to kick it back in gear and prepare and get ready for the end of the year so it's september we're basically in the middle of september and september september is basically over okay and we are going into october and it, it, we're going to the last three months of the quarter which is so 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 important if you have a business if you have goals before the new year comes okay and it's gonna go by fast so i just wanted to give you some tips that i feel like are important to me things that i tell myself to do and i'm just wanting to share them with you okay so the first thing I want to tell you ladies is to re-look and re-evaluate, reassess what you have been doing. Has it been working? Do you need to tweak some things a little bit? Do you need to change some things a little bit? Has what you doing been working? If it hasn't, what do you need to change? Are you tracking? Are you tracking your progress? Are you tracking your clients? Are you tracking how many new clients you're seeing? Are you tracking return clients? That is so important to know where you're coming from and to know where you are going and I guess the route that you need to take to get to where you want to get. So make sure you are reevaluating, reassessing, look at everything that you've done. Look at your online presence, where that, that be online booking, um, whether that be Instagram, Facebook, um, your service menu, look at everything. Are your prices too low, okay? That is a big one. That's a really, really big one. That was something that I had to come to grips with in the first six months of my business. Um, when November, I think it was like around September, October, I was like, you know what, my prices are too low. I really need to up them, to, you know, in order to be able to take care of my business responsibilities and, you know, to be able to eventually make an income. So I did. Uh, up my prices before the new year came in so that might be something that you might need to do okay I always tell you ladies you don't want to lower your value you don't want to lower your prices you want your prices to be where they need to be um, and they need to be in line with how much time it takes you to do a service okay so if it takes you three hours to do a service, however much you're charging, you need to divide that by the hours. And if you're only making like 10, you know, $15 an hour, $20 an hour, you know, you might wanna relook at what you're doing. Um, I have looked at some people's prices, um, you know, a few months back. So if any of you ladies, you know, want me to look at your price menu, you know, to assess it, to see, you know, is it where it needs to be? Do you need to up the prices? I do have that service available and I'll just leave my email down below. So any of you who are interested in that can contact me. But that's a biggie right there because um, you have the power to give yourself a raise. You know, when you start your business, you are in control of how much you make. You can give yourself a raise at any time. That's the beautiful thing about working for yourself, okay? So um, yeah, I can't stress that enough. I don't wanna keep harping over it. Let's move on to the next thing. 
Another thing that you want to do is, you know, think of ways how can you do better? How can you add value to what you're doing already, okay? If you're at if you're doing the best that you can possibly can and there's really no room for improvement, just staying consistent. Staying consistent with every client, making sure that a return client is always a new client, okay? That's how I operate. That's how I um you know, make sure that the client, the new clients that I see that they return and that the clients who have been with me for two years now continue to return and, you know, first, first time, I mean, return client to me is always a first time client. So definitely make sure that you are paying attention to that. Um, another thing you want to pay attention to is the way that you do things. You know, do you have a system in place? Do you have a system where you do the same thing every single time to ensure great quality every single time? I know when we work for other people, those, you know, it seemed like, you know, owners and managers or companies are a little bit too particular about the way they wanted things done or a little naggy about you know saying the same thing every single time but now that I work for myself I realize that it's important to do that it's important to have that consistency that way you give great quality work every single time I'm not saying that you might not have a bad day I'm not saying that you might not make a mistake but you if you have a system in place where you make sure you follow the same step every single time, I promise you, you'll always give out great quality work. So that's another thing. Make sure you're paying attention to your system and the way that you're doing a thing, doing whatever service you're doing. Another thing that I want you ladies to pay attention to is to ask for referrals, okay? And when I say ask, I don't mean depend on your clients to bring you clients. That's not what I'm saying. If you're depending on your clients to, to be help you build your clientele, that is a not a good strategy. So when I say ask for referrals, I mean every single client, if you have a client and they've been to you three times and they still haven't left a review for you, you know, make sure you open your mouth and you say, hey, you know, you, you know that um, I've you know been building my clientele through reviews online or through referrals you know if you could show if you love your service today if you could give me a shout out you know and show some love to my business and let people know how you enjoyed the service today you know it's up to you if you want to give an incentive for them doing that or not but that is so so important Another thing too is let your clients know that you have incentive incentives whenever they refer someone to you. But nine times out of ten, if you're do gonna if you're doing great work, your clients are gonna refer other people to you. But you don't want to depend on your clients to bring you to help you build your clientele, if that makes sense. You just wanna make sure that you have a strong um, online presence. You wanna make sure that you have pictures of your work. You wanna make sure that wherever your online booking is, that you definitely have pictures, that you definitely encourage your clients to leave testimonials for you. I cannot stress this enough. If you think about it, whenever, you know, say you wanna to go to a restaurant and you're in a new city, or say you wanna try this restaurant that you haven't tried, that you've seen, what do we do? We always go on Google and we always read the reviews, or we go on Yelp and read the reviews, or we read the testimonials. So we live in a digital world where people just don't walk into places anymore a lot of people you know kind of check it out and do a little bit of research before they walk into places so if you have a salon or a business someone's going to do a little bit of research on you before they decide to come in so it is super important that you encourage your clients to leave testimonials for you that you encourage your clients to leave reviews for you um, on any of your online profiles, that you encourage them to refer people to you, and that you make sure that you're doing the work that you're supposed to do every single time, okay? Another thing to remember is if you've just started your business, if you've been in three months, five months, six months, a year, 
remember patience 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 things take time okay so don't be so hard on yourself especially for those who of you who resonate with my story you know you don't have any clientele or you didn't start out with any clientele and you just say hey i'm gonna take this leap i'm gonna work hard i'm gonna bust my butt and do what i need to do um, it's very important that you have patience, okay? Because great things take time. In any business, you need to give it at least a year <laughs> to see if you like it and you and if you should cont continue with it and you're gonna have success. But um, the end result, the, the most important thing is three to five years. Give yourself at least three to five years to see the income that you want and give yourself at least a year and don't quit, okay? That is so important. So many people start out with a business, they see how hard it is, all the mistakes, they're not seeing uh, the results they want to immediately and they wanna give up and they wanna quit. And you know, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you decide to quit this and move on to something else, everything takes time it doesn't matter what you do whether it's losing weight education learning something new starting a new project writing a book all great things take time so please be patient and give yourself time and while you're waiting here's another tip do the, the things that you know that you're supposed to do that's gonna bring you success okay don't slack off okay we all have a tendency to kind of get down, to kind of get frustrated, to kind of let up off steam a little bit and slack a little bit, no. Or when we're doing good, we kind of, no, you want to make sure that you are doing the right things every day, no matter how you feel, no matter what comes your way. So when that growth does come, you are going to be prepared and ready and no one's gonna catch you off guard. So while you're waiting, Please make the good choices for your business that you know that you're supposed to make. And definitely invest back into your business. You ladies heard me say that before. I can't stress that enough. Another thing too, the holidays are coming up. Make sure that you stock up on your core products that you use. Please don't stock up on stuff that you don't use on a daily. I promise you, I have about three, four products that I recommend and it's so easy for me to sell those products because I don't have all of these products and I have so many choices to choose from. The human brain does not like a lot of ch choices to choose from. So for my men's hair, guess what? I have one pomade that I use and I sell the heck out of that pomade because it's an all purpose pomade. It works good for all hair types. Uh, it's just really good and they see me use it in their hair every single time so it's so easy for me to sell it to them okay so make sure you stock up on your core products and make sure that you are uh, you know upselling like reselling like telling them hey do you need a pomade or you need this leave-in conditioner or you need the shampoo and conditioner because this is the time to focus on retail Another tip is to make sure that you are creating a great experience, okay? So anyone can get a good haircut, but what's gonna set you apart is number one, uh, I so when a client reaches out to you, how quickly do you respond, okay? How quickly do you answer their needs or their questions? How quickly are you able to book their appointment if they don't wanna book online, okay? So that's a number one, making sure that you are professional. One of the things that I want to work on this year is I kinda had all those things in place, but as far as my look, I don't feel like I looked as professional as I did when I first started. You know, I was kind of like in that grind period where it's just like hustle and grind every day. And I was kind of just doing the legging things and I don't know. So this this year, the end of this year, I really want to work on making sure I look like this when I go to work. Cause when I, most of the time when I go to work, I don't have no makeup on. I'm not really like dressed up, you know, I'm kind of dressed down. So that's one of the things that I want to work on this year, but definitely making sure you're creating that great experience, making sure that you're friendly, that you're polite, that you're a good listener, that you do what people ask you to do, okay? Um, that you don't do something that you want to do on the hair. So all of those are important. 
just a great comfortable atmosphere a relaxing atmosphere that's what's gonna set you apart all my clients say oh my gosh amber is so relaxing in here all my clients they fall asleep in the chair they just feel so comfortable you know it's the best haircut they've ever had they've never been to a place like mine before so you just want to make that long lasting impression okay and so it's, it, it, it takes a number of things, you know, bringing them all together to just have this awesome business. So you wanna make sure, number one, you have a skill, the skill is there. So always work on your skill. Number two, your personality, the way you respond, the way you talk to people, making sure that you're polite, you're friendly, you're nice, and that you're a good listener. Number three, that you are creating that great atmosphere, that great experience. Um, number four, that you tell your clients hey you can book with me before you leave that's a big one try to get your clients to book with you before they leave and if they don't that's okay just let them know that you know you have online booking and they can book it around their schedule another thing Thanksgiving and Christmas is coming up New Year's is coming up so you want to tell your clients hey you know the holidays are coming up I get really busy during the holidays you probably want to book your appointment in, in the month of November and December and if, and New Year's so you can make sure that you're able to get your hair serviced okay so that is a good tool to use I've already been telling my clients like you know a lot of my clients I have very few that like to book before they leave, just a handful. Most of the guys that I have, they like to book around their schedule, okay? But when it, when Thanksgiving and Christmas comes and New Year's comes, I'm like, I'm telling you, you wanna book because I would hate for like all my long time, long term clients to, you know, who've been coming to me for two years now to not be able to get a haircut and then all these new people that start booking online, you know, they get their haircut. So I'm like, hey, go ahead and book, you know, go ahead and book so you can get in. So that's something that you want to stress, even if you are just starting out. Just still say that, say, hey, I'm gonna get busy during the holidays. I'm already getting people in the books. You know book your appointment before you leave to make sure you can get your hair cut before Thanksgiving especially if you're going out of town that's a big you say hey I'm going out of town for Thanksgiving my books are filling up book book your appointment before you leave I promise when you look at your book in November and December you're gonna be happy and you're gonna be feeling good okay another thing too is stay connected to people who inspire you um, you know I, I don't want to say I have like physical hands-on mentors in my life that you know I talk to on an everyday basis that I can you know call up and talk on the phone and touch um, but that's the beauty of the social world and YouTube and Instagram and Facebook so if you see someone on the internet and you're just drawn to them and they motivate you and they inspire you stay connected keep a positive mindset keep a positive mindset never speak bad about your business and continue to, uh, to to do the necessary things that you know you need to do that's gonna bring you success. And never talk bad about your business. Never talk bad about yourself. Don't do that, okay? Because then you drop those little seeds of doubt and then you just kinda get in this web of negativity and self-sabotage. So definitely um, stay connected to people that inspire, inspire you. My favorite people, you already know. <laughs> I love uh, Uncle E, Uncle E, Eric Thomas. I love Eric Thomas. Y'all see me post his stuff all the time on Instagram and my stories. I love Gloria Mayfield Banks. Um, I'm actually wearing, uh, I won this giveaway. So I'm actually wearing her super bad all day long shirt. And um, it was a giveaway that I won and I was just too overly excited because I look up, this woman is powerful. She is on Instagram, she is on Facebook, she is on YouTube. She is a powerful speaker. If you want confidence, if you lack confidence, if you don't believe in yourself, if you wanna be sharp, you wanna dress sharp, you wanna look sharp, you wanna feel sharp, and you want your confidence to go up, OMG. Follow her, cause I mean, she is like, yeah, she, she dresses, I mean, she exudes confidence and, and beauty and strength and positivity. She's amazing, I love her. Um, she is an elite national sales director in Mary Kay, she's a millionaire. I don't do Mary Kay anymore, but I still 
and plugged into her because I just love the motivation and the inspiration that she gives. She's amazing. And you ladies have also heard me speak about Raymond Torregano. If you just are overthinking things and you just want the game on the hair industry and how to work your business, he's also a great tool to utilize. He also has online education. So those are my people, you know, that I, you know, watch and pull from on the internet. And, uh, you know, I also have some girls here on YouTube that I love and look up to, um, Nitra B, um, Diamond Mine, also Fatima Francesca. Those are awesome women who are going places, who have been on YouTube for a while, that are doing amazing things. Um, I definitely look to them for inspiration. I'm so motivated by how, um, you know, they built their business on YouTube and they just do, get to wake up and do what they love every day. So, yeah, stay plugged, stay connected to those who inspire you. Keep a positive mindset. This video is going on 20 minutes long, but I hope what I've said has helped you and is going to help you towards the end of the year. It's time to hustle. It's time to dig in. If you've been sad, if you've been down, if you've been feeling not good about your business, girl, it's time to pick that attitude up. It's time to kick it in gear. It's time to put on some music that puts that fire under your butt. It's time to connect with some people that inspire you, uplift you, and motivate you. It's time to, to, to revisit and rethink and reevaluate and reassess your business and what you're doing and where you wanna go. And it's time to hustle, to work hard, to be positive, to stay mo motivated, and know that everything you want is going to happen for you, all right? So I love you ladies. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you love this video and enjoy these tips today, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. As always, I hope you ladies have an amazing week. All right, and I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.